Hey guys, welcome to Four Chord Simple, where I'm going to teach you how to play hundreds of songs using just four simple chords. For instance, Great clouds roll over the hills, bringing darkness from above. But if you close your eyes, does it almost feel like nothing's changed at all? I do hundreds of these song tutorial videos, and using just the four simple chords I'm going to teach you in this video, you'll be able to play along with me in all of them. So grab your ukulele, make sure it's in tune, and let's get started. The first chord that you should know is the C chord. You'll play it by taking your ring finger and placing it on the third fret of the bottom string. Really easy, right? You just learned your first ukulele chord. The second chord the A minor chord is just as easy as the first one. You're just going to take your middle finger and place it on the second fret of the top string. Pretty easy, right? And the third chord, it's not too much harder. You're just going to take your index finger and put it down on the first fret of the second to bottom string. There you go. You've just converted the A minor chord into an F chord. So now you've got the C chord, the A minor chord, and the F chord. Great, we're just one chord away from being able to play hundreds of songs. All right, so the fourth and final chord is the G chord. It's a little bit harder than the other ones, but seriously, it's worth the effort and time it's gonna to take to get used to it, because once you've learned it, seriously, you're gonna be able to play tons of songs. So for this one, you're gonna take your index finger, place it on the second fret of the second to top string. You're gonna take your middle finger, place it on the second fret of the bottom string. You're going to take your ring finger and place it on the third fret of the second to bottom string. There you have it. There's the G chord. Now you've learned all four chords that you need to know to be able to play along with me in the hundreds of songs that I'm going to teach you in this channel. And if there's ever a song that you're like feeling like it's pretty low for you, you can always adjust the tune by using what's called a capo. This is my capo, and all you do is you just place it in between two frets on your ukulele, and what it does is it just makes it sound a little higher. And you can make it as high as you want, you can just keep increasing the location until it's at a range that's more comfortable for your voice. And basically, you know, if you want to play any one of those four chords we already learned, you just play it in relation to the capo. So for instance, the C chord is on the third fret, well, compared to the capo, you'd put your finger right here, which is three frets, three frets, up from that capo, right? There you go. Sounds just like a C chord, but just higher, right? Which makes it better for your voice if you are feeling like you're down in the really low area, right? All right, guys, with those four chords under your belt, you're ready to jump in and start playing. But before you do so, I'd recommend doing a little bit of practice first. So I'd recommend watching my video where you can practice those four chords, specifically practicing transitioning between them. You wanna get very quick at it. And also I'd recommend watching my video on strumming where I teach you four simple strumming patterns that will allow you to make your music more varietous and a little more interesting for people to listen to. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like, uh, maybe comment and subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you next time.